All right, well, I started off doing this game, um, recording it just, you know, because I could. I have the setup, and I'll probably put them on my YouTube channel. And then I decided, you know what, why don't I just, um, why don't I just do episodes? So that's what I'm going to do. So this is going to be, I think it's going to be like episode three. Um, essentially, so this is Night, uh, Night Team 4. Uh, by Allison Smith, and it's a hacking simulator, so I do have to uh, address that. It is not a real, I'm not really hacking here. This is a game. Um, so, we're going to check out and see where we left off, which was, I think it's, um, we finished the academy, which is training, and we got story mode and Operation Dark Sentinel. So, let's go ahead and start this. successfully struck the target. However, all joint operations with Germans have halted as a result. The Dr. Ripper leak was unprecedented, so it warranted unprecedented action. Therefore, we contacted our allies within Russian intelligence to obtain further insight into the situation. They uncovered the following German document. I've uploaded the following to your station. The satellite view of the house, the German police report from the raid, and evidence found at the scene. As you will see, there's not a lot to work with. It's a rough start, Agent, but I have confidence in you. Your mission objectives are review all intel gathered from the raid, infiltrate any third parties involved with Dr. Ripper, raid their networks and all internal databases. Raid their networks. Okay. So what is it that we're doing here? So connecting the local host. Uh, the great thing is that this game actually tells you exactly what it is you have to do. Even if they don't tell you how to do it, uh, it's really good for your critical thinking skills. Infiltrate the network of any third party involved with Dr. Ripper's house and locations. Scan and infiltrate their internal corporate database and analyze your findings and look for anything suspicious. Okay. Let's start. I added a new folder to your local host. To access it, use your file browser module and type localhost as the address. You won't need a username or password to get in since it's on your station. We don't have much to go on here, but at least that's a start. My advice, if you can't access a network through regular means, try using your social engineering toolkit instead. Okay, so that's a clue right there. We want to use our social engineering toolkit. First, we'll do the file browser, host. Okay. Team 4 documents, Dark Sentinel, briefing file. Kruger Services. So I think they're a uh, like a property management group. Okay. Marcel Muller. Ruger Services. Okay, so. All right. We need the set social engineering toolkit. Well, a database. Kruger Services. Okay. Uh, I do the basics word, create a payload, first shell VPN, and Captain Email Template. 
And we'll do uh, CV application. Uh, new hire info. HR at Kruger. HR at Kruger services.com. Yeah, they should fall for that, right? Yes, they should. Somebody opened it. They open the file. That's all we need is one. There we go. Oh, blocked. Got it. Turbine C2 registry. Got it. Initiated. Lucas. Completed. Okay. So we infiltrated the network of their internal, so well, of them, right? So we can close that out and we'll do some information gathering. We want to do information gathering module initiated. Finances dig ERP. Vulnerable. Simple ERP. Boom. So we're going to go over here. Do exploit database. Information gathering module. Initiate. Search exploit. Simple ERP. We have partnerships with some ERP companies. And by us, I mean the DOD, NSA, CIA, and the like. In some cases, they set up vulnerabilities that let us access critical resources. These zero-day exploits can only be used under special circumstances. I've uploaded the Assassin Root Kit designed specifically to target databases in this ERP. Execute a Fox Acid attack using the new Root Kit, and let's see what's in there. Okay, so we got a new Root Kit. We got Assassin. Uh, custom SOAP request, TCP IP. So, network intrusion, Fox Acid. Acid Delivery is going to be TCP IP. Exploit is going to be the SOAP request. Rootkit is going to be Assassin. Target that, 1990. We're good. And do it. Fox Acid attack launched. If hacking was really like this, that would be really sweet. Fox Acid attack. Key score forensics okay. initiated. All right. So, what we got here? We got uh, and finance transactions. Go. John Schaefer. Okay. Let's close that. Who's John Schaefer? We want to actually get rid of this one. And see who John Schaefer is. The rental agreement. We've already seen that. And it's a transaction list. By the look of this, John Schaefer manages more than Dr. Ripper's house. Not sure if he's a simple broker, but then again, it wouldn't surprise me if Dr. Ripper wasn't the lone wolf we thought he was. Could you run a background check against Schaefer and the other houses he managed? Sophie, Jan, Martin, Michelle. Sophie, Jan, Martin, Michelle. Oops. Jan. A house in Brightingen on the market since June this year. It's supposed to be a nice area. I had a friend who went to school in Ulm. She always posted the nicest photos of rolling green hills. But nothing really stands out here. Let's keep digging. Okay. It wasn't Jan. It wasn't Jan. It's Marsha. Eric. Who's that? Martin? Uh, Michelle? This is when I write shit down. This one's in Havixbeck from a couple of months ago, but I don't see anything special here. Hmm. Okay. 
Um, it's not Michelle. Sophie. Did we do Sophie? We didn't do Sophie yet. Let's see the rental agreement. Sophie Achen's house was listed on August 2017. Hmm. I don't see anything else here. Okay. Uh, let's see his client transaction list. So we did Sophie, Jan, Michelle. We got Martin and Dan. So we got Martin left. Do that. Martin. Martin. It's got to be the last one. It's got to be it. Let's see here. That's the client transaction list. Uh oh, we got something else here. Martin. There we go. I don't see anything suspicious here. Okay. Do the background check. Complete a mission. All right. So investigate German documents. Yep. Mission completed. Okay. That was only 11 minutes. Actually, we'll make a great clip on uh, on YouTube. All right. So that's Dark Sentinel. Um, this is the next one's gonna be Chapter Two. So I, I'm not sure how many chapters it goes to, maybe like three. So we're gonna find out, but um, let's see here. Uh, I will stop and then we'll start a new one. Thanks for watching Spirit Warrior Gaming.